Hey guys, Chris here. And as you may or may not know, there was a fatal crash back in Saturday in Texas where two people lost their lives because they were driving inside a Tesla car with the autopilot and something actually did happen with the car. And that actually affected Tesla stock price today and Tesla at one point started trading below $700 because of all the negative press. So in this video, I basically wanna talk about what exactly happened in the crash and how they may affect Tesla as a company, not just the stock, but as the overall company, what that actually means for the futures of Tesla moving forward. And as always, I always try to give you guys the most up-to-date information that I possibly can to make sure you guys are the most up-to-date. And if this is something you like and do enjoy, I know it's gonna be like a sad video, but I'm always trying to give you guys the most positive you know, information I possibly can. If you guys do enjoy this, please remember to give me a big thumbs up. It does help me out. So without further ado guys, let's talk about Tesla. Tesla right now after hours is trading for $721.53. You can see on one point they were trading below 3.4% and on one single point it did dip down below $700. In the past five trading days, you can see how it ended the last trading day above $735 then dipped down, you know, well below $700, all right? The, the market cap did drop to $685.9 billion with an average volume of 33.3 .3 million. Now, this huge dip was because of the car crash and there's a lot of big questions going around and many people already bearish on Tesla. People do think Tesla is still overvalued and this just adds, you know, more fuel to their fire, I guess, because all this negative press that tesla has been having for many many years now people don't believe in the technology people think that tesla is a, a company that is just all hype and and all these rumors are just hyping up the stock price and the stock price is you know extremely overvalued to what the company actually is doing but people are forgetting what tesla can do in the future yes tesla is a technology automaking company that has the potential to be life-changing and to better the environment for everybody but with accidents like this do happen you know it does make headlines okay. tesla stock drops after reports of fatal crash of vehicle with apparently no driver so what happened was the very first person that came into the scene the first responder noticed that there was a person sitting on the passenger side and someone sitting on the back seat and noticed that there was not one single person on the driver's side and since there's a tesla car many people are assuming that it was an autopilot that the car had a, some sort of malfunction and then ended up crashing to a tree and the car ended up going on fire for about four hours which is in my opinion very you know worrisome for a lot of people and they had to use 32,000 gallons of water to put the fire out and obviously there is a lot of negative press because of this okay now the real details to what exactly happened in the crash no they don't have 100 details to what exactly happened this fatal crash is still under investigation but i'm pretty sure as the more details come on in you know many people will start to understand what exactly did happen and if if it was the car that did malfunction or if they accidentally took off autopilot or disengaged it by accident you know that's something that we won't know all we know is that two people lost their lives and that is all sad feels so sad for the family because the circumstance and everything did actually happen now there have been reports with that saying that it's time to notice tesla's autopilot death toll now, this reporter rick newman stated something that i found it very interesting the new technology plus foolish drivers equals death okay and that's something very important because you know there's many people in the world that when it comes to no matter what type of technology people will always try to take advantage of the situation or take advantage of some foolishness or attempt some foolishness because we don't know what actually happened in that crash we don't know uh, just because they were, someone was, was not sitting in front of the wheel, you know, they just started to be on the passenger side or in the back seat. If somebody was in there, it could maybe have prevented that specific accident. But who knows? You know, sometimes even when you're driving a car, things are not 100%. Even if there's someone behind the wheel, even if there's a foolish driver, things tend to happen. If someone's drunk or drinking and driving or under the influence, things still end up happening now this is not the first time you know this accident has happened tesla introduced autopilot in 2015 and there was 11 deaths and nine crashes in the united states internationally there was nine deaths and seven crashes in 2018 there was an accident involving a volvo because they were trying to do an uber test program you know accidents are going to happen even if it's autopilot non-autopilot if somebody was inside the vehicle stuff like this does happen but when it comes to a company like tesla you're always going to have this negative press you know at the end of the day you know this crash is going to affect tesla long term now many reports many analysts many investors were a little worried about tesla and the questions that this crash does bring for example 
is the malfunction going to continue to happen is the how's tesla's progression going to continue like how is this progression going to happen what type of adjustments is elon musk and tesla as a company going to do you know moving forward now one of the biggest things i did want to mention is that elon musk did post this tweet the day of the accident tesla releases q1 2021 safety report now this is on their twitter you could go on elon musk's twitter and you could read this exact same tweet it's still there about their Q1 safety protocols. In the first quarter, we registered one accident for every 4.19 million miles driven in which drivers had autopilot engaged. Okay, so that, you know, if you look at it that way, the autopilot for Elon Musk it is kind of safe, 4.19 million miles. It, 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 in a way, it is kind of safe, you know. For those driving without autopilot, but with our active safety features, we registered one accident for every 2.5 million miles driven. For those driving without autopilot and without our active safety features, we registered one accident for every 978,000 miles driven. So that just kind of shows you that with autopilot engaged, you could drive safer and even a longer distance if it's engaged. Or if you have some of Tesla's safety features, you're still driving double the mileage before having any sort of accidents. By comparison, NHTSA's most recent data shows that the US, there is an automobile crash every 484,000 miles. So Tesla's products is safer than anybody's. You know, it's safer than anybody else's technology or vehicle or, or better than any human that is driving the car. Now, how does this affect Tesla's stock and Tesla as a company moving forward? Well, this crash and any crashes that happen in the future that is going to raise some huge question marks for Tesla. People are already on the edge with Tesla's technology. Many people haven't bought Tesla because they're not really sure what this autopilot can actually do, if it's safe, and they have so many questions and concerns about this you know, technology. This technology is new to a lot of people, but then, then again, this technology is a lot safer than humans driving an actual car. Then again, sometimes you just have to pick and choose what you believe in and what you don't believe in. Uh, whenever there's a negative press, that's, that negative press is going to get blown out of proportion. Yes, it is sad to what happened, but Tesla's technology is cutting edge. It's a lot safer than any human driving a vehicle, and I'm going to keep stating that because the numbers prove so. It's actual facts and statistics that is going around. Now, this is a little bit of a dip for Tesla's you know, shareholders and for people. There is a negative press, so what, but when there is negative press, there, there is a great buying opportunity. Even though what happened is sad, it did drop 4%. So for people trying to average down or even average up on Tesla, this could probably be a pretty good buying opportunity if you guys, you know, didn't get these gains, you know? Like, I'm not saying what happened is bad, but at the same time, it did dip down. You should always try to, you know, pick up what's actually going on with the stock. When it comes to the company, there are concerns going around. For example, why did it burn for four hours? You know, why did all these things happen? Why are crashes continuing to happen? Well, this is a learning curve for Tesla. As Tesla continues to grow, they are they will, you know, fix those kinks, those nicks, they will make the proper adjustments. So us investors, now we have to think of it as an investor side, okay? Long term, what is Tesla going to do? Is this going to be the end of Tesla? No, of course not. Tesla is going to continue to be the behemoth of an automaking company, right? In the future, is Tesla's technology going to continue to improve? Yes, Tesla's technology it will continue to improve. Now, as an investor, is this dip an opportunity to buy? In my opinion, yes, it is a great opportunity to buy with a 4% dip. If you are willing you know, to take the negative press and take the volatility of Tesla, because we all know Tesla is extremely volatile. They have a beta of 2.01, is extremely volatile. But if you could take advantage of these negative presses, or these negative things, you could really start to average down on Tesla and really make profits long term. I still have a, my stock price prediction of around $950 by the end of this year, and I'm pretty much sticking to it. I do believe that even though this is just a bump in the road and a little hiccup for Tesla, Tesla will prevail and adjust accordingly. All right, guys, let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about this crash and what you guys think about Tesla stock and company moving forward after these you know, crashes that have been going around. And just let me know what, what you guys think about it overall. All right, guys, so thank you all for watching. As always, I will try to give you guys the most up-to-date information that I possibly can. And if there's something you like and you do enjoy, please remember to give me a big thumbs up. It does help me out. All right, guys, so thank you all for watching. See you guys next time. Salute to you all. Have a great day. Bye.